pitch football. West Ham 1-1 draw with Burnley. Give me your instant reaction to the game, Squire. Um, I thought we tired from Thursday night, to be quite honest. Yeah. Uh, I felt sorry for Antonio. Uh, I mean, the boys worked hard, but um, I think that injury halfway through the first half caused a bit of a problem, actually, mm. on concentration. Serious injury from what you saw? I don't know what it was. Broken, broken leg, wasn't it, I think? But, um, but yeah, we should have won. We needed to win. But it's all down to the Euro for final now, isn't it? Hopefully. I think, I think the boys are suffering the fact they didn't sign reinforcements in January for Antonio to yeah. get a bit more firepower for them. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah, to be quite honest. Um, I feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he looks tired. He's not getting the ball. Um, but he works hard, you know. But we need, he needs, we need someone up there with him. Or him to come off and someone on. Mm. Well, we haven't got anyone. Mm. Do you think you know? this result today, especially with the other, the other sides losing... Uh, Makes it harder for West Ham to basically get that top four space in the Premier League. Well, we won't get the top four. I think we're on the top six. That's what we need now yeah. between us and Man United. I think. Um, so yeah, I mean, we need to beat Chelsea. We need to beat Arsenal. Man City, Brighton. I think, isn't it? So we need the points. Simple yeah. as that. Yeah. Uh, Do you think one eye has been on the on the European competition coming up from the players. I think, from my experience, to be quite honest, the Europa League doesn't do you any favours. Really doesn't, no, you know, because no. Sundays is just a nightmare. Sunday football, you don't have enough rest, the hype, and it's a different, different atmosphere all round. So yeah, I think it affects us. It has affected us. I think there was a different intensity from Burnley, where managers gone. They're playing for their survival in the Premier League. Do you think they wanted it more today than West Ham? Uh, no, not really. I thought they looked poor. Actually, I think I think they're down anyway. Yeah. Um, they were a poor side. Uh, we should have buried them in the first 25 minutes. A lot of men behind the ball today. Do you find think West Ham struggled to break them down with the intensity and the fitness? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I think second half, last 20 minutes, we, we were getting there. But um, we were unlucky, I think, last 20 minutes. But there we are. Would you have took this at the start of the season, going into the to where you are, say, sixth in the league, potentially going into the semi-final of the UEFA Cup? Oh, without doubt. Yeah, yeah. I thought we'd be top 10, to be quite honest. So we've done well. We have done well. But um, I think the problem is we need to keep Declan Rice. And, and I don't think we'll keep him unless we finish in the top six or we win the Europa. That was my next question. Without Champions League football, how do you persuade the top calibre players like Declan Rice to stay with the project? Um, well, he reckons that West Ham's badge is on his sleeve and his heart's on his sleeve. But when it comes down to it, I don't know. You know, Does he want Champions League football? Is he happy being captain of England and playing for a good side like West Ham? Um, yeah, I think he'll go. Really? Yeah, I do. Probably another season. Yeah. 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 I hope he doesn't, but um, you know, the guy's got a career to think about. Not, it's not, not all about West Ham, is it? Pitch football, West Ham's 1-1 draw with Burnley. Boys, where did it go wrong today? It was just shit. All <laughs> it was just, it wasn't the best, mate. We should have beat them, but all I can say is Europa League, we're winning it. It's coming home. Before I let you boys go, should West Ham be performing better against teams like Burnley? Should they be tucking them away? But at the end of the day, we ain't got the depth. Do you know what I mean? We ain't got the depth. So until we improve some transfers, we'll talk business. Love have a good that. day, my boy. Enjoy the European semi final. Take it easy. Pitch football, we just witnessed West Ham's 1 1 draw with Burnley. West Ham scraping by and getting something out of the game, sir. Give me your instant reaction. Flat. I uh, feel very flat after Thursday, obviously. Um, I think we've, uh, we've missed a few good chances in the second half towards the end. Uh, Antonio clean through. Have we missed that chance? I don't know. Killer. Fresh Antonio, someone who hasn't played as many games yeah, as him, yeah. takes that, scores that chance. He basically, he looks out of it all the whole game, really. I mean, where he's usually really bursting to make those little runs, weren't doing it. He ended up starting, well, first, beginning of the second half, he was dropping deep, like Harry Kane. He don't do that. Yeah. He like keeps pressure on the keeper, keep, keep on the back four. They didn't do none of that today, really. I think we're paying the price a little bit for not signing reinforcements to help Antonio in January. It would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. would have been really nice, but um, it is what it is. We've got to play with what we've got. Can't do anything now until the end of the season. If we sacrifice a few games now in the league to do well in the European games, I think that's, that's the plan now. We can't be worried about trying to get fourth rank and to get that. Um, I think if teams keep slipping up fourth, fifth, sixth, but we still get that European place, mm. just drop off the side for the goal. If he can do it, I don't think he can do it, really, can he? I mean, I think... Um, if we had three or four extra players, he'd be able to drop half the team like some other sides do. We can't do it, so he's got to keep them playing them. And I think they haven't got the legs for it anymore. That's the squad depth luxury that the other teams have got at West Ham don't have. That's the point I'm touching on. Should they Have they missed a golden opportunity to push the club forward and maybe get that Champions League football this season? Yes, 
in one word. Um, I don't think you can talk to one West Ham fan that's not really disappointed we didn't sign anybody. I mean, like I say, uh, minimum, minimum, I mean, we didn't know about Ogbonna's injury. Zuma's injury has done us up as well. Yeah. So um, I think we might have been covered in, in uh, defence, but even that's gone out of the pan now. I won't be surprised if we see Rice drop back there at some point as well. If, if one more injury, we're finished. You, men you mentioned Declan Rice. He's been such an important talisman to this team. West Ham through and through. Is there a worry without Champions League football that he departs and leaves the club? Would you blame him? Um, he loves West Ham, you can tell, even though he's a young Chelsea boy, um, he's got a Chelsea family. I think if we can get if we can get to the final and win it um, in May, May the 5th, when it, or whenever it is, I think it'll stay. I think it'll give us another season. You know, he seems passionate enough to do that, so you know, I'll be disappointed if he doesn't, but then again, I won't blame him. It must be difficult to see your top players and have the aspirations to win major trophies playing big football and at the same time your club are striving to give him that. Yeah, yeah, I know, but um, no investment. If we don't invest in the summer, if we don't say to him, they'll probably say to Declan, look, we want you to stay, we're going to spend some money, what do you think, you know, can you give us another season? And we'll know very quickly whether we've said that to him because what goes on behind the scenes, we don't know about, but it's the players' reactions. If Declan and I start putting out feelers to go to other clubs, sorry, mate, then... Um, then he's gone. I reckon he'll be going. So we'll know within the first like two or three weeks at the end of the season, I think. Let's keep fingers crossed for Frankfurt. Definitely. Big game in the semi-final. Let's get behind the boys. And thank you very much for giving me a bit of your time today. You're a top Cheers, fella. Mate. Take All it best. easy. Pitch football, we just witnessed West Ham's 1-1 draw with Burnley. Give me your instant reaction to the game, fella. Oh, uh, well, I'll tell you what, mate. Uh, to be honest, Burnley, they're a pretty, you know, terrible team in my opinion, you know fighting for relegation at a minute you know we're, we're Europa League Europa League team at the moment and you're telling me we're drawing 1-1 to Burnley how, how is that possible? Disappointed as a West Ham fan today level of performance on the team? I wouldn't say disappointed just a, you know quite upset you know we're, we're trying to compete for Champions League and at the minute you know I don't think we're going to get there you know we need Arsenal and Tottenham to lose pretty much three or four games otherwise we're not getting there are we? Mr Prime opportunity with with Tottenham and Arsenal both losing at the weekend. Oh uh, well, I'll tell you what, one point's not good enough, is it? We need three. Arsenal are like two games in hand between us, and you know they're, they're not exactly going to lose two games on a trot, are they? Do you think there's an after effect of the win in Leon? The players are a little bit tired. Uh, 90 minutes is enough for a, for a whole player. But I mean, Declan Rice, he, he, he's going to be tired, and Antonio's just not there anymore, is he? He, he needs a rest. He, I feel like we should be playing Sonny Perkins. He, he, he's got the talent as a player to to be playing up front. Is it a worry that without that top four, without Champions League, players that Declan Rice could be on, on their bike? Oh yeah, 100%. Declan Rice will be on his bike if we don't get Champions League or if we don't win Europa League. And I'll tell you what, uh, if he does leave, I'll tell you what, he's got he's got a point to have, to have left the team. Uh, he, he, he needs to be competing in top four teams or he needs to be winning Champions Leagues and that, that's the type of player he is. What it means to you to win the semi-final in the European Cup here? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm 16, I've never seen us get through to Europa League semi-finals and uh, I'm gassed as it is myself you know, to be able to witness how far we have got in the Europa League so far. So I'll tell you what, mate, if we get to the finals and we lose, I'll be you know, more happy than we are winning. Pitch football, just witnessed West Ham's 1-1 draw with Burnley. Fellas, where did it go wrong today? Second half should have stuffed them. Oh, yeah, first yeah. half injury, nine minutes out, it took out yeah. momentum away, you know what I mean? How bad of an injury did that look from where you was? Bro broken leg from what we heard, but... We was up in row 62, so we don't know, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. fuck. But it took, sorry, it took, it took the momentum out of our game. You know what I mean? We come back in the second half, missed a couple of good opportunities, but oh, it's one point's better than none, isn't it? You're expecting more passion from West Ham, from the players on the pitch today. I know Burnley are playing no, for their no, life, no, but no, you're expecting no, no. more. No, after Thursday, smashing Leon away, you can't expect everything out of everybody just. When they're played out, you know what I mean? We've played pretty much the same squad, so the, the, the guys have only got so much in them, you know what I mean? I think West Ham are suffering for not signing re reinforcements to help Mikel Antonio in January. No, no, no I don't, know Because if you sign people in January, they ain't going to gel with the squad in a couple of months, you know what I mean? You need a season to get everybody training together. I think we're doing fantastically well, and that's good enough for me. Antonio missed the cutlass sitters, he should have banged them in. Now, are, West Ham, are West Ham still in the race for the top four finish this season or would you be content with, no, with getting back in the, in the UEFA Cup? I don't think we're in the race for the top four. I think we're in the race for the Europa Championship. I think we're going to beat, well, I think we're going to win that, you know. Yeah. What does it mean to have big European nights here? Massive, man. Hey, West Ham hey, and Rangers get, final. West Ham and Rangers final. To get, to get a trophy would be untold. Get some silverware after, what, 30, 45 years, mate? Years. Yeah? yeah, it'd be amazing, mate, yeah? Statue of David Moyes. 
Amazing geezer. Hey, we've got to get on the rattler, man. We've got to get back to Listen, boys, I can't thank you enough for West stopping. Give me some time. Final. West Ham and Rangers final. West Ham and Rangers final. Easy, Pitch football, there. download the app. Have a good day. Take it easy. Yeah. West Ham draw 1 1 with Burnley. Instant reaction to the game, sir. We should have won the game. That's my reaction. Where did it go wrong? We had about 20 chances. We didn't put them away. So, if you don't put your chances away, you don't win, do you? Do you think you couldn't have struggled at times to match the intensity of Burnley today? Uh, he could have made some changes, maybe. Antonio looks a bit tired, possibly. Could have brought on Yarmolenko, maybe. or some. But we haven't got enough strikers. That's the problem. Yeah. So, if you don't take your chances, you don't win. Do you think it's come to haunt the club, the fact they didn't strengthen in the striker department in January? I would say, yeah. yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Most teams have got three to four strikers. There must be a lot of a pressure on Mikel Antonio to get to get goals and to perform week in, week out. I would say so, yeah. But he, he's been playing well, but today he just looked tired. And he was getting beaten up by... There is a defender, I don't think it was Tarkovsky, and the other guy, I don't know who the other guy, I can't remember his name, but he was getting beaten up by him every time. I think one eye on the European game coming up against Frankfurt as well. Yeah, possible, yeah. I would say so, yeah. yeah. Are West Ham still able to maintain a race in the top four? you think they've still got something? No, I'd say not. I'd say they'd be lucky to get into Europe. Let's bring in one of our young hammers. <laughs> How are you? Are you all right? Yeah. Talk to me about the match. What did you make of it? Um... We didn't take our chances and we should have put them away. And we we didn't get balls into the box enough. Oh, yeah. Not fast enough. Not fast enough. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's always hard when you're chasing the game with, against a team like Burnley who are playing for their for their life in the Premier League. Because they sit back. That's right. And then they just defend. That's right. Sit deep. Yeah. Hopefully West Ham get a better result in the forthcoming matches. Thank you both for your time today. Please download our free app at Pitch Football and I know you've got, you got something you'd like to add. Yeah, one more. In about 10 years time, it'll be on the pitch. 10 years time, we're going to wait and see. I'm going to hold you to that. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Have yourself a good day. Thank you very much and good luck with your football. Pitch Football, just witnessed West Ham's 1-1 draw with Burnley. Give me your instant reaction to the game. How do you assess that, mate? A uh, bit guided by the result, really. I feel like we needed to win today. Um, for that, Antonio had a few chances that he could have put away, but it seems like it's just the story of his season, really. Started off well, and now he's just struggling to get struggling to bag, isn't he? So, two points dropped, in your opinion, today. Should you be beating teams like Burnley? Oh, 100% we should be beating teams like Burnley, especially with teams like Tottenham and uh, Arsenal dropping points again on the weekend. We've missed two opportunities over the last few weeks. So, hopefully, I mean, it's, it's gutting for us, but hopefully we can get results against Arsenal and Chelsea in the next coming weeks, and then build on that again. What would you put it down to? What would you put the lack of form in the Premier League down to? Do you think the European game coming up has got anything to do with it? Uh, of course, I, I mean, everyone blames January for the uh, for the lack of our uh, more points in the Premier League. I mean, everyone's kind of focused on Europa League at the minute um, and we, we can definitely push to get into the final and maybe win it. But in terms of Premier League, I think it's just tiredness and players are just struggling at the minute, aren't they? You can tell. I think where they haven't signed any any sort of help for a Mikel Antonio, the fans are a little bit frustrated where he's left to do it all and his performances maybe are not at the level they have been. I mean, for Antonio, it's, it's got to be even hard for him to not have any competition behind him. And I mean, every striker needs someone else and like the pressure on them that if they ain't playing well, someone else is going to come in and step up. But at West Ham, we just don't have that at the minute. And I feel like obviously January missed opportunity, even for a few positions. I mean, yeah. definitely lacking in the striker position. That's the main one. But we definitely could have signed a few more players for squad depth. Suchek come to the team's rescue today, scoring a late equaliser. Do you think West Ham are out of the race for top four now? I mean, top four was always going to be a stretch considering the teams around us and, and the quality of the teams around us. Um, but I'm, I'm personally, I'm rooting for Europa League football again next year. I mean, it's my first year experiencing it with the club, so I, I'm loving it right now. Um, I'm not really going for top four. I'm more of a Europa League person, like realistically, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Do you think the fans need to be a bit more realistic with their aspirations? I know it was good banter with a West Ham, a massive thing at times, but I think some more fans need to be a bit more realistic. I mean, West Ham is massive. That's just we've we've grown, we've come a long way in the last two seasons from relegation to like obviously where Moyes has brought us now to be challenging for top four. I mean, challenging and challenging for top six. But I mean, we're living in a bubble right now. It's not it's not used we're not used to it, are we? So it's 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 amazing for us, and we have got to enjoy the moment. Pitch football, West Ham's 1-1 draw with Burnley. Give me your instant reaction to the game. Moyes, listen to the fans. Antonio can't hit a barn door. For Christ's sake, give the youngsters a chance. Pitch football, just witness West Ham's 1-1 draw with Burnley. Give me your instant reaction to the game, mate. How do you assess that? Should have done a lot better, but tired legs, obviously, I think, from the uh, the cup game. But um, 
We enjoyed it, didn't we? First game at West Ham. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the goal needed that from Sojcek. Deserves it after a bit of a tough few games he's had. But, um, yeah, needed to do better today, really. Sojcek come to the rescue of the boys, 1-0 down. Were you disappointed about the way they played today? Oh, totally. I mean, even from the, the, the following corners that Burnley had, still looking dangerous. I think a team of our calibre against someone like Burnley, no manager, need to do ten times better than that, really. Do you think the... One eye on the European games, taking a little bit away from the players, momentum-wise. Totally, you got to weigh it up. Do we now suffer in the league or push through to the final? Hopefully, still try and keep a decent position in the league for next year. To try and keep some of the bigger players like Rice on board, but it's a tough one. I wouldn't like to be in Moyes' shoes. Do you reckon it's a, definitely a, a three points drop on a big slip considering Tottenham drop points, Arsenal drop points in the race of the top four? Totally. Needed to win today, but be gutted. I assume we haven't won because they left it before the half full time, but needed to capitalise on other teams dropping points in front of us. But what can you do? Overall, satisfied with the season so far? Five games to go? So far, so good. European uh, competitions made up for what we should have really pushed for top six easily possibly even top four, but we'll take the Europa um, tour with that. So, yeah. 1-1 one, one draw, you're leaving early. Give me your reasons for leaving the game early, mate. The boys were knackered, mate, from the other night, but on to the next round. Come on, you boys! I think they had one eye on the Frankfurt game already rather than concentrating on the Premier League. Frankfurt game, we're on that, and that is ours. Semi-final into the final, Seville. Come on, you boys! Held a pitch football. We just witnessed West Ham's 1-1 one, one draw with Burnley. Can you give me your instant reaction to the game, sir? I was totally dis disappointed with West Ham. They didn't have a clue. They had all their best players out there, but they just weren't trying. There was no effort there. They hardly had a shot on goal. And I walked out 20 minutes before the end. Never done me that before. But they, uh, they were losing 1-0, and they did not deserve anything from this game. They're just saving themselves for the next big game uh, against Frankfurt, which I understand but they could have put all their youngsters in today who would have put up more of an effort than the players that were out there today. The worst I've ever seen West Ham play, they deserve to lose today. Burnley fighting for their life, for their survival. They didn't really play very well, but in, with two very poor sides, very little imagination either way, Burnley deserves to win. How would a pitch football just witness a 1-1 draw between West Ham and Burnley? Give me your instant reaction, fella. I think uh, the bad injury to Burnley changed the game. I upset me and a lot of our West Ham fans they weren't good and I think that made them try a bit harder but I thought we were the best side all the way through but it is what it is and it, you know it'd be nice to go to win move us up the table but point you know I mean they're battling for their lives so you have to just give them a bit of credit especially after what they went through with that injury that was shocking mm. Do you think the West Ham players had one eye on the Frankfurt game today? I don't think they did today I think uh, they will have they will have, obviously, so it's just, it's just going to be fantastic, isn't it? And I think the crowd are all there today. They were just like, we lose or draw, we are where we are, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you think the, the dream for top four for West Ham this season's finished now? Definitely, yeah, definitely. As long as we finish top six, we get European football, or if we win it, who knows? Come on! What would it mean to you then to get your oh, hands on, on, the, on the UEFA Cup this year? I'm 62 years old. I followed West Ham. I lived in Plasto. I followed West Ham since I was 11. It would just be the greatest thing ever. I've seen cup finals, seen us win that. But this, oh my God. You can't put it in the words, can you?